Welcome back, Orleans, to more Neverwinter Nights. Going through buying and selling shit with my genie buddy. Uh, so far, the Lich Skull is pretty cool. Um, I can give that to Deacon. Hans Klugen spent his life assisting the Archmage Kledos. He traveled for many years across the world to hunt for arcane components to assist Kledos in the wizard's many rituals. Kledos rewarded Hans one fateful day by decapitating the faithful assistant and though a rare ritual transforming the half-orc skull into a powerful helmet. Hans, always a dutiful assistant, had delivered his final components to his master. So, Pale Master, Red Dragon Disciple, Sorcerer, and Wizards can use this. Gives 12 Concentration, 12 to Spellcraft, and 18 Spell Resistance. That would be a pretty kick-ass helmet for Little Man. We also got a Helm of Brilliance, which I'm going to hang on to because I can cast Fireballs and Flame Lash with it, and I'm not a mage. This helm appears to be an ordinary until its true nature is perceived. Made of brilliant silver and polished steel, the Helm of Brilliance is set with diamonds, rubies, fire opals, and opals and opals, each of a large size and enchanted. When struck by bright light, the helm scintillates and sends forth reflective rays in all directions from its crown-like gem-tipped spikes. The jewels allow the wearer to cast a variety of powerful spells, although each such use drains some power from the helm. In addition to these specific powers, the helm can absorb a significant amount of fire damage. The wearer may also focus the light from the helm at will to produce an effect similar to Flame Lash. Few such helms reported to still exist have been traced back to the great cleric of Lathanda from Baldur's Gate named Ergelion. Ergelion equipped his companions with these helms and turned back a horde of undead swarming out of the Troll Hills to the north. Though the horde never reached Baldur's Gate, none of that band of adventures was seen or heard from again. So it gives you 20 fire resistance, has low light, and you can cast fireball 10 times. Well, it looks like two charge per use, maybe five times. It's got flame lash. Prismatic Spray and Wall of Fire. So that's pretty cool. Hang on to that. Uh, I got rid of just some regular magic crap. This uh, Kosu's Belt of Priestly Might. It's pretty cool. I have no use for it, but these items first appear in Halrua at the end of the Time of Troubles, which the wizards took as a sign that Mistra had returned. The Belt of Priestly Might grants its wearer protection from damage and increased strength. This particular belt is inscribed with the holy symbol of Kosu, the god of the, god of the forge. You have to be neutral to use it, and it's not going to help uh, Deacon anymore. So we're going to sell it. Got some greater gloves of discipline. Got my Syrian helm here. I'm going to have a nice little collection of helms. I have a staff called Withering. This ghastly magical staff is the leg bone of the evil Condarius Vilemouth, a wickedly evil Pale Master who lost this limb and his life to a brave but nameless paladin. Vilemouth's pupils took the limb, polished it, and enchanted it with the magic of their master. Animates dead. And plus six enchantment. No use for it, but pretty cool story. Wanda Lesser Summoning, I don't give a shit. Morningstar plus three, plus three stuff we don't really need. We need plus, plus six and above stuff. Tower Shield plus four, hang on to that. Blood letter. Forged in the smoldering brimstone files and cooled in the blood of its creator, a blood letter blade is typically an evil weapon. The kind of soul that has inspired more than a little diabolical laughter while being waved in the face of one another virtuous knight. It is possessed of thoroughly highness life-stealing energies. But its fate of its previous owners or any of the indication its major characteristic could well be the attraction of comeuppance. Vampiric Re Regeneration plus two. It's a plus four bastard sword. I love bastard swords. They look cool as shit, but... Armor we won't need. I love keeping a little collection of weapons and shit.
check out my golden rod, ladies. It's super. Oh, we got a small shield plus six. I figured I'd give that to Deacon. You go away, genie man. I'd give that to Deacon in case he uh, ever goes melee, which he does once in a while. He is right now, in fact. Plus six small shield. Brings him up from 31 to 38. Pretty big boost. Although he should be using his crossbow, Deacon. Let's hook him up with his Lich Helm. Yes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, who got him some wings? Looks like little Deacon got him his own little dragon wings. Yes, I just now noticed that. That cute little son of a bitch. Level nine dragon disciple. Got even better draconic armor now. Next level he'll get he'll go to plus four. <clears throat> he'll get two more intelligence. Or level ten. Uh -oh. he's level nine now. Level ten he's gonna get plus four strength, plus two charisma. I don't think he used his uh, dragon breath yet. He must be drinking a lot of Red Bull. All right, let's continue. We need to get back to. I am yours to command. Back to Charon, the boat keeper. Oh wait, that's not his name. Cavallus, the other boat keeper. Welcome. Back to the Sears camp. And now we're going to head west of Lith Malar after this cutscene. It seems your information is proving worthwhile after all, Dread Mephistopheles. The one you warned me of is reported to be within the Underdark now, working alongside the ragtag rebels who yet dare to oppose me. All is as I said it would be, Matron Mother. You shall call me Valsharess. I have summoned and bound you, Mephistopheles, and you will bend to my will as you must. Of course, great Valsharess. What is your desire? I desire to know how this servicer arrived in the Underdark so quickly. I desire to know exactly where this servicer is. And most of all, I desire this servicer dead. The one you seek is beyond my sight, great Valsheress. Beyond your power, Mephistopheles? I would like to know how that is. Continue to search for the surfacer. I will find him. And when I do, both he and every last one of those wretched rebels will pay. Wow, she must be into ventriloquism. I never saw her mouth move once. Yes, 
Deacon! Deacon realized that there'd be water on the ground. Even deep, deep caves where old boss lived got lots of water. Uh-huh, but? But if Drow got ships, you think that shit maybe? If, if Drow got ships, that means that there'd be whole sea here. Maybe whole ocean. So, what's wrong with that? Um, how do you fit whole ocean underground? How big cave would you need? You got me, I haven't a clue. Deacon remember reading in books that there are whole races that live underwater and underdark. Fish men with big lips and giant squids with brains that blows up your head. And how they sail without stars and winds and stuff. Deacon not travel on any ship yet, even back on surface. It not look very safe. Well, it's not safe, really. That not make Deacon feel better, boss. If you're going to put us on ship, just make sure you warn Deacon first, okay? I did confirm with the uh, 3.5 edition rules that you cannot stack improved critical and keen weapons. It will not extend the threat range. So unless it's a glitch or a flaw in the game, it's, it's not possible. Make it vampiric for, or give it regeneration. That's pretty cool. I'm doing it. Sell my great axe. I have no need for these swords anymore. Hang on to that hammer in case I come across any more golems. Looking cool isn't good enough. That was brilliant, so I'll hang on to that. I can have some fun with that.
We get him some gloves too. Well met. Oh, hell yeah. I get ambi dexterity and two weapon fighting with those. That could help out a lot. That might be better than the two strength. Let's see here, let's bring in my plus 34, 36. Be better to hit. Hang on to the ogre uh, power in case I ever go one handed. But as long as I'm dual wielding, it's definitely better to have gloves with a balanced hand. I don't think I'm going to have enough points to get into that. I'm going to have one more chapter left. Could have used those boots against those damn golems. God, I had the immunity to knock down with those. One time! Been a lot more than that! Gives you a brisk salute as you approach. You're Luglug, aren't you? Sergeant Osir at your service. I'm in charge of the defenses here at the gates. As you can see, we're keeping a close eye on the gates. I just wish we could spare a few more troops to show up our position here. We don't want any surprises catching us unprepared. Surprises? What do you mean? Out beyond the gates is where the underdog begins. The caverns out there are crawling with beholders and illithid, not to mention a host of undead creatures. Can you open the gate for me? I'll have them open the gates right now. You can come and go as you please. Just be careful not to get butt fucked out there. You ever been butt fucked by a beholder? It's no fun. Eye stalks cramming up your anus and such. It's a terrible feeling. We must watch out for the Nothing like having a death ray shot from your anus out your mouth hole. And after you careful. They will do it out here in the you might like it. Not like I'm into that kind of thing, but thank you for the offer. Drow scout running like a little now bitch. You got me, man. I got a ah. Actually, before we go too deep here, let's I'll run back, <clears throat> talk to the seer. 
overrule your step here. Even the most innocent looking creature can be filled with poison strong enough to bring you to a lost beast. If I can find my way back, that is. Try a little tricky trick here for some free experience. I trust all goes well. Have you any news to report? Have you made any progress in your efforts to weaken the Valsheress and her followers? I've helped the seer seize control of House Mavir! The seer now controls House Mavir, then I must assume my room is dead. Why did you do this, Lug Lug? My rune would have betrayed us to the Valsharess! The seer nods reluctantly. Yes, you're probably right. My rune was desperately trying to cling to power. If she had opportunity to bow before the Valsharess and live, she would. Perhaps your actions are will be for the greater good. I just hope the seer shows us more loyalty than she showed her own mother. Have you heard of anything else? I have an artifact called the Shattered Mirror! I should warn you, Lug Lug, I know something of this mirror. It's very powerful, but very dangerous. What do you intend to do with it? I don't know. Can you make use of it? I might be able to, though I would have to be extremely careful with such an item. But I could never ask you to turn over such a valuable artifact to me. If you can use it, then take it. Maybe it'll help. The seer's eyes go wide with shock. That's very generous of you, though. I thank you. I tried to put it to good advantage. I dare not use it before the coming battle, before I fear about it fall victim to its power, but... In the days that all come to it, come and may help us find a way to better our life than this. Have you word of anything else? That's all for now. The seer nods slowly. You have already done so much for our cause, Love Love. You have my gratitude. Is there anything else you require? So as you can see, when you give her the mirror, you get a thousand experience. And now you say, give me the mirror back. By rights, the mirror is yours, Love Love, and I'll gladly return it to you. May I ask, however, why you want it now? I think I may have need of it. Then by all means, take the mirror, but be careful of its power, even if I'm not eager to use it without understanding the consequences. I know you can't give it back to her and keep getting a thousand experience, but you may be able to give it to someone else. So that's a way you can get a free thousand experience. You can give her the mirror and take the mirror back. Shit, 10 a.m. It's about time for a beer.
I'll be entering Zorvac Don't Mur. get lost down here. Finding your bearings once you are lost in the shadows is far from simple. I'm not getting lost, Dingaling Face. Another sliver, hey? Well, you don't want to go into Zorvac Mur without your little wearing one of these. He wraps the helm on his head. Those mind flayers don't see much difference between slave eyes and slaves. If you aren't protected, they'll turn on you as soon as you speak to them. A free tip from one slaver to another. Where can I get one of those helms? What's wrong with you, Yorag? We've got the numbers advantage here. Let's pick up some more stock. He makes some good point. There are numbers. And I think you for tonight's price and I Nobody threatens me, asshole! If you attack me, you're all dead! We'll take that chance! Attack! Cool! Let's do this damn thing! To the flames we Alright, now we all gonna want our mind affecting spells on here because this is the home of the Elithids, the mind flayers. We definitely need a Helm of Mind Shielding. We'll try our Mind Affecting Spell Helms first and see how that works out. Might we speak? No, actually we can't speak, Balin. I got shit to do, buddy. Vacant looking drow, witless verneblin. Everybody's under mind control here. Expressionless Drugar. The mind flares tentacles twitch in mild excitement as you approach, and you feel it probing your unguarded mind. It speaks to you in a voice you hear only in your thoughts. You are extremely stupid or extremely brave to leave your mind vulnerable before me. Either way, you shall remember none of your previous existence when you have become my thrall. I don't know about that! I put you all out of your misery!
It's like we're killing mind flares. <laughs> like the helms don't work completely. Alright, let's try this a different way. <clears throat> in fact, we'll try this a different way in the next video. Thanks for watching.